Top Secret Exposed, Real Reasons Why a Retired Commander General Chai Wenge Removed Mugabe from Power. Vice President and Retired Zimbabwe Defense Forces, ZDF, Chief General Constantino Chai Wenge's appointment as Defense Minister brings full circle a sinister scheme by the military to push out former President Robert Mugabe for selfish reasons, opposition parties have said. Reacting to the decision by new President Emerson and Gagwa to shunt co-new Vice President Kemba Mohadi from the defense portfolio to the less glamorous National Healing Department, the party said Chai Wengel has shown who the real power behind the throne is. It has always been clear that Chai Wenga is the real power behind the throne. It's pretty obvious that he wields tremendous power and influence in the Angagwa administration. He is being rewarded for masterminding Angagwa's ascendancy to the presidency. This administration has got a very strong military flavor. This is the reason why Chai Wengo has been given responsibility over the defense ministry. Real power actually lies with the military. They are the power brokers, said opposition MDCT spokesman Albert Gudu. Guraon on Chihuahua of the Welshman Cubled MDC spokesperson said Chai Wenge's amassing of the most powerful portfolios leaves people with no doubt that Mugabe's removal was no accident. This will leave many tongues wagging and doubting Thomas's in jubilation because his, Chai Wenge's, appointment to the vice presidency is good enough to answer those who thought that the military intervened to save the country. This has proven that it was a scheme by those inside and outside ZANU-PF to fast-track military people to Presidium. It is now clear that they pushed Mugabe out for themselves, he said. And Gagwa has surrounded himself with fierce generals wearing a sheepskin. Gift Nyandoro of the National People's Party, NPP, said Chai Wenge's appointment represents a classic reward to him by Angagwa for masterminding the coup which facilitated the new president's rise to power. In essence, Ed, Angagwa, is not in control of the present government dynamics, it's the army that is calling shots. Secondly, Chai Wenge's appointment is simply a consolidation of military position into the matrix of civilian politics. The fact as things stand out is that Zimbabwe is now under military rule with Ngagwa as the face conveniently placed as president for purposes of sanitizing a coup governance product, Nyandoro said. The NPP spokesperson said added that Mohadi was not a suitable candidate to drive national healing and reconciliation. As for the appointment of Mohadi, it's unfortunate that he has been given to administer national peace and reconciliation portfolio a ministry that is central to the uniting of Zimbabweans from all walks of life given the man's political history and standing. Such key ministry is not for window dressing but should ensure closure to Gokurhundi atrocities and political violence perpetrated in the long sleeve and short sleeve era, 2008 political violence. The appointments are classical political regression of a society that is desperate to move forward post Mugabe era which was characterized with political disappearances and disregard of the rule of law. With the heavy military presence in Ed administration any hope for free and fair elections has drastically diminished, Nyandoro added. Yeah.